What's going on everybody feedback here and today we got a short little video for you on all the different May the 4th be with you activities that DICE planned for us for Star Wars Day or May the 4th. Hope you guys like it. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Please like the video if you did. And if you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Okay, but seriously, um, on the 3rd, there was a patch that got released. And there are some good things that happened with the patch. There's some bad things that happened with the patch. Um, but I'm just going to talk about it real quick. The footage in the background is just a game of extraction that we played today. Just kind of showing off the back to bomb and stuff. But that brings us to our first part of the good, is the back to bomb. I actually really like it. It's very useful. When it explodes, it's got an AoE pretty wide, like about 5 meters, of just anyone that hits, instant health. Now that's only your team too, so you can use it right next to an enemy. You'll get full health, plus you get basically an overshield. It's almost twice as much health. I don't know if it's quite exactly twice as much, we haven't really tested it yet, but it's enough to survive a lightsaber uh, swing, so it's quite a bit. Anyways, I foresee the back to bomb getting nerfed in the future, but for now it's pretty dope, so use it. Next thing, jump pack and shield can be used together again, that's pretty good. The dioxys grenade is no longer worthless, that's also pretty nice. Uh, it was almost... It was so frustrating trying to get those Dioxys grenade kills to get the second upgrade for that. So I'm glad that it's better now. And actually, it's pretty cool because it stacks uh, with itself, basically. So there's a certain amount of damage on, on an outside ring and then an inside ring. And if you're on the inside ring, you're taking damage from both sets. So it does, it does do quite a bit of damage now. So it's actually something that you can't just ignore anymore you have to deal with it by running away or whatever what have you maybe back to bombing right before you die so next thing that the new update's done is when you get killed by someone it's now going to show their trait uh so w whether that's scout or berserker or whatever uh you get to see what they're using so another thing is when you activate a charge card or your trait level two or three it now shows that above your health bar, both to your teammates and towards the enemy if they're looking at you, right? So you know if somebody has their uh, charge card activated. I think this is good because it's always good to have a little bit of information. You know, any amount of information is a good thing. So whether that helps you make decisions, whether or not you want to charge into this guy, if you know he's been using explosive shot, maybe you want to sit back or maybe you want to toss a grenade instead or something. Let's see, the next thing, Leia's Trooper Bane now goes through shields again. That's pretty good. That was a mistake last time when they changed how shields work. Trooper Bane was supposed to always go through shields. Uh, it's not like it got nerfed or anything. It just happened on accident. So I'm glad that that's back again because that really changes how you play Leia. Another thing is in the Outer Rim playlist, you play Extraction every other game type. And you play both sets of Extraction. So you play both sides. And then it's going to be another one, whether it's Blast or Droid Run or whatever. And then it's going to be Extraction again, which I really like because I do enjoy Extraction quite a bit. Especially with the Back to Bomb now, it's pretty pretty fun. Especially with the Back to Bomb now, it makes things more interesting. Last thing on the good list is the time between rounds in Heroes vs. Villains has been shortened to 10 seconds from 30. So you don't have to sit there and wait and wait and wait anymore. So that's pretty nice. All right. Now on to the bad part. I'll link the patch notes in the description, but in those patch notes it says resolved an issue which would make players invincible after attempting to enter a vehicle. Now this, I mean I've already made a, view, a couple of videos about this before. Um, it still works. I, I mean, I spawned into a supremacy. I honestly was thinking I might try it to see if it would still work, uh, but I didn't even need to try. I literally spawned right in front of the interceptor pickup. I looked at the scoreboard. We already had an interceptor up. I grabbed it. The dude knelt down, stood back up, and I was invincible. And I walked around and emoted at all the uh, rebels again. So it definitely works. I've done it myself. The next thing, which I think is a really big one, 
is disconnecting when you're viewing someone's profile in the social hub. So it used to be kind of a, a small scale problem in the past. It's happened to me a couple times. I know it happened to other people more often, but now it's apparently everybody. Uh, everybody I've talked to anyways. Anyways, the next thing is the hut contracts still show the completed ones in the post game screen and not the ones that are in progress. Uh, that I, I know is really annoying to me. Um, even when I was doing the back to bomb, it wasn't telling me. I mean, I have to, I, I can see it next in the next screen anyways, but why show me you completed this, you completed this, you completed this. It's, it's just annoying. I don't need to see that. I know I completed it. I did it a long time ago. Next thing in the outer rim playlist, when you're playing heroes versus villains, it's only three wins now instead of five. Uh, I don't really understand this. I know I'm sure people were saying, oh, Heroes vs. Villains is taking too long, but that's mostly because of the, the stuff in between rounds. And I don't know, I really liked it being five because sometimes you kind of went back and forth or sometimes I'd spawn into one, you know, four zero down and then come back for a five or a five four victory, you know, which is really fun to do, but it's not going to feel as epic anymore. Uh, my last in the bad list is there's still no extraction only playlist. I know I, I'm talking about extraction a lot. I just, I think it should be one. And I, I also think there should be separate playlists for each thing in the outer rim stuff. It shouldn't, you shouldn't only be able to play the outer rim levels in their playlist. You know, if people don't like extraction, fine. Don't make them play extraction, play blast, but still let them use your new levels. It doesn't make sense. All right, my third list is called the meh. It's, it's stuff that's uh, not good or bad necessarily, um, but just stuff that I thought I should point out. Uh, so you don't show level 59 anymore in the post-game screen. Uh, it's fixed now, so if you're 60, you stay 60. And your credits and experience also shows uh, properly now. So that's nice. I don't have to figure it out. Uh, myself. Uh, next thing, a couple of uh, nerfs to the new heroes, which were obviously coming because they were ridiculous, but Greedo does not one-shot on confidence level 2 anymore. The other one is Nine Numb's turret now takes longer to lock on and does a little bit less damage. Next thing is they change kill streak bonus to combat streak. Um, I'm not really sure why. Maybe something about, you know, kill streaks or Call of Duty thing. I don't know. I don't know, but it's combat streak now, not kill streak. They've also changed the requirements for the weapon sprees, so blaster pistol, things like that, from 10 to 7. Next thing, ion grenade explodes on impact now instead of on a timer. So it's kind of a good and bad thing. I don't know. So ion grenades can kill people, right? And what I saw some people do is use it as like kind of like a deterrent you know what i mean they'd throw it down on the ground and then people would see it and you can't shoot it to get rid of it uh but you know it's going to explode at any, any moment but you don't know when and if you're over top of it you're going to die so it was interesting using it that way um the next thing is so now in this unlocks equipment area it's going to show instead of two items available like it has been and no way to get rid of it now it's going to show one item available and no way to get rid of it. <laughs> so, again, not really good or bad, but it happened. <laughs> so, and this is because obviously we have one more uh, star card left that we're supposed to get before the next uh, expansion or whatever. The and the last thing, I feel like I probably should have put this in the good section, but combat roll now has a one and a half second delay, so you can't just spam it over and over and over again, which. I, I mean, it's a good thing. It, I was still trying to get used to spamming it and shooting, because you could shoot at the same time as you combat roll. And I watched a couple of videos of people doing really well just spamming combat rolls over and over and over again. Nobody can shoot them. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Please like the video if you did. And if you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, it really helps us out a lot. We are, you know, still pretty much starting out. So we can use all the help we can get. Show your friends, let them know. And we will see you guys on the battlefront.